Oh, I am live. Woohoo! Alright, we'll wait for some people to get on. And uh, we'll crack on. Just gonna have a look. Get a job. Is my uh, cat looking, guys? Because I've frozen on my screen. <laughs> Is it working? My end, I'm completely frozen. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm back. I'm back. It's unfrozen itself. You alright, Brett? How are you, mate? Urban Ark Overland. How are you, mate? Eleven of you on already. Woohoo! Nice and quick. How are we all this weekend? Right, we've got a live chat on. Yep. Brilliant. We're back. Don't know what went on then. Hey Christopher, hey David, uh, my wife and I are hoping to do what you do, brilliant mate, loving life pal, uh, where am I, I am currently in Essex, visiting the family, evening Timothy, yeah I think I lost a few there because it, it froze up, I don't know why. Uh, Billy, are you thinking of getting a van instead of a motorhome? Is that aimed at me or another uh, <laughs> another commoner? Because I've, I've got the motorhome and I ain't changing anytime soon. I'm uh, back now. Yep. I don't know what happened. There. I don't know why. Um, cut out. Uh, yeah, I put the I put it onto Wi-Fi, so I made sure I had good connection. And then the I don't know why I've got. It's all green, it's all lit up, everything's online, but I went back to 4G on the on the mobile data, so we'll see what happens. I might have missed it, mate. Where are you? Oh, I'm in uh, Essex, mate. I'm just visiting the family for the day, um, chilling out with them. I haven't been back here for about a month and a half or something, so I thought I'd come down, check them, uh, you know, chill out with them all, and... See what's going on. Uh, you always seem to be happy and smiling. Is that down to my home life? <laughs> it's probably quite down to that, yeah. But I'm usually quite an upbeat, jolly person. I don't really do stress. Um, I, li I kind of live a stress-free as possible life. What is going on here? Yeah, try and live as stress-free as possible. It's the drugs. Yeah, the drugs work. Don't don't believe what they say. The drugs don't work. Of course they do. <laughs> so is anyone going getting ready to go away for the uh oh, fancy soon you here? You're right, Spree. How are you, mate? I uh I saw your post on Facebook uh earlier about you almost getting to a thousand. Are you almost there? And I think you had about forty to go, didn't you? Something like that. Now then, tomorrow, head. How's you and that non <laughs> no go pro doing? <laughs> you are looking good in pink. How are you doing? <laughs> Dave, you're hilarious. I love this banner. Uh, and I love the. You call it a no go pro. I'm doing fine. Uh, I, I think I've got someone again today a little bit. I just go out and I don't know what it is, it just catches me, it's not even sunny, it's not really that sunny, it's just, but yeah, I'm doing fine, the GoPro's, the GoPro's uh, fine, not not a problem, unlike them uh, Osmos, but, and no, it's not for pride, it's just a nice colour, <laughs> hello mate, what's the length of your motorhome, um, I think it's just under 20 foot, uh, what is it doing? 
Uh, yeah, so I think it's about 20 foot, give or take a bit. Uh, yeah, I'm on 960. Oh, 960, 40 more to go, not long. Uh, how much, Leo, uh, hi, how much did you buy the LPG bottles? They're about 120, 140 pounds a bottle. Um, and then they're yours forever, so then you just fill them up. Uh, hello, Dan, and I'm off camping near Skipton in Col Colney next week. Sadly, my micro camp has died. And isn't looking good. Looks like I'll be slumming it in a tent. <laughs> all been there, mate. We've all done tents. So, yeah. You'll, you'll get it back. Don't worry. You need a hat, old boy. I know. It really does catch. My head's just like a beacon. It just catches it. It just absorbs it. Just sticks out like a sore thumb. And then I look like a tomato. What's the next meetup? Uh, is at the Boondockers in August. I'm at the Wilderness Gathering on that one. It's on the exact same weekend. I think it's the 15th, 16th, 17th, isn't it? Um, yeah, I think I'm. I'm at. I know I'm at the uh, Wilderness Wilderness Gathering. Unfortunately, otherwise I'd be uh, there meeting up with you lot. Would you be able to send me send the link for the LPG bottles? It's just called uh, www.safefield.co.uk one word, no spaces, no hyphens or anything like that. So yeah, just safe fill. Safe fill bottles are now £175 for a 7.5 kilo bottle. Jesus. You look like... You look like E.T. Fingers. <laughs> it's because I've touched the screen. Uh, £175 for a 7.5 kilo bottle. Well, mine are seven and a half kilo bottles. They must have gone up then. I don't know if they've had a supply issue or the cost of things are going up. Maybe I know a lot of the stuff that they get is from without, from outside the uh, outside the country. A lot of stuff gets made in other different countries here, there, and everywhere. I think part of the regulator gets made in Thailand, and then some parts get made in Germany and God knows where else. So maybe that's uh, we will all go to the Boondockers then. Yeah, I wish I was uh, wish I was able to go to both to be honest. But they're literally one's down near Stonehenge and then one's right up the top. So now I'm in glowing red. <laughs> yeah, ten kilos I saw them for two hundred and fifty pounds. Jesus. But bottom line is, yeah, that might be a high price, but once you've got them, you've got them, and you're then saving loads because every fill up every one fill up for lp uh, for the color is the equivalent to four or five fill ups give or take what size bottle you've got um you're you're gonna save loads um when am i coming up um yeah i'm not sure when i'm what part of north you mean i mean i've been up north quite a lot lately uh, hi from Worksop. We're caravanners, but just got back from a day researching camper vans to come over to the dark side. Love watching you guys and your meetups. Brilliant. Cheers, mate. You love it, Graham. Definitely come to the motorhome side. Safe fill. Fill up at Morrison's easy. Yeah, fill up. They're, they're partnered with Morrison's, I believe. Uh, I mentioned you in the video today. Uh, are you? Yeah, I've just started watching that. I got halfway through it and then I clicked. I was like, oh no, I have to click live. I've got to go live. I told him at five o'clock. Um, Dave, it's brilliant. You, That was really neat setup. You really hid them wires well. Um, and it looks like a, a good system you've set up there. It's great when you hear a noise though and you can just click it on, have a little look around, see what's going on. <laughs> hey, Apple Pie Guru. Well, you know. There's worse titles to have. I've been called worse. And, you know, my apple pie was the best. It was the best. I made a mistake and bought a 10 kilo from home base and ordered a new regulator from eBay. I just hope it will fit in my motorhome when I collect it on Wednesday. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you can... you got to be careful when you fill them up, haven't you? Or is the regulator going to auto-turn off? Um... To live full time, what size solar panels do you need? That's a loaded question. Completely depends on what you use. If you're power hungry, like like I am, and I use a lot of a lot of gadgets, a lot of technology, then you're going to need more. 
and it depends it's not about all about the um the panels is about how much power you're actually storing in the batteries if you've got if you've got you know 10 batteries i know no one's got 10 batteries but if you had 10 batteries then you wouldn't need that much of you would and you wouldn't because if you're not using loads then you're um you i don't, I don't know why this keeps doing this if anyone knows why my phone keeps cutting me out it freezes for a second then cuts me off and then i have to click it and it lets me resume if anyone knows why it's doing that i would be eternally grateful man, not a motor phone they are for old people yeah do you know what the amount of people that expect an old person to get out and then i get out and you know when i'm shaving i look a bit baby face and they're like what why is he driving that um as regards of what, how much solar power you need, you, you just need to work out how much stuff you're using, what you're powering, and how much you're going to want to power it every day. Um, what software do you use with the GoPro? I edit all my videos with DaVinci Resolve 15, uh, 16. It's quite a big editing software. It's, it's free, but yeah, it's quite a big editing, editing uh, software. He has a big stick for his GoPro. I have got a very big stick for the GoPro. I've got a boom pole. Uh, I think it's like 80 inches long. It extends out, so then you can get like fake drone shots, which now I've got no drone, so I'm going to need to use that a lot more. <laughs> I've got to wait for that drone to come back from the Netherlands. Well, I've got to wait for him to inspect it yet. Hello, mate. How are you? Yeah, hopefully they contact me this week. It should arrive there early this week, I would say. And then I want to lick the head. That head. <laughs> Brett, you're a funny one. Um, hope Yeah, hopefully they get it this week and then I can get an ETA on how long it's going to take for them to get it back to me because I... Um, like a giant kinder surprise. Well, yeah, don't just just don't crack my head open. Nothing, nothing interesting is gonna fall out of it. Okay, thanks. I'm thinking to buy a motorhome. I'm not sure what to buy it as to live in full time. You just need something that. Uh, how do you get sound on a no GoPro? <laughs> with a hope and a prayer. Hope and a prayer. Doing all Europe with me bird soon in me. Uh, VW T5 Scousers on tour will bump into you mate nice one Mick look forward to it uh, buy AMG batteries 100 amp hours then 125 solar panel and then a thousand watt inverter job done off you go yeah that's that's great advice uh, Stephen I mean that's not a massive kit that would be relatively cheap um, thousand watt inverter it depends what you want to run though if you're going to you know try and run a 1500 watt something you're going to need more than a more than that look behind you okay uh where's the camp this weekend no no camps this weekend just a normal normal weekend evening down good to see you you're looking well thank you very much sue much appreciated not everyone appreciates my devilishly good looks. <laughs> uh, Troy, hi mate. What's the best quiet place that you go to just to relax, take in the views and not think about work? Thanks, Tony. Mm, there's a few little farms I go to which are pretty cheap. If I'm actually wanting to pay and get uh, away from somewhere. Um, yes. But wherever I'm parked up I'm chill hi mate any idea how to do a well connected seamless video stream on YouTube no I know I don't know what's going on I'm seriously it just kicks me out right I'm a hundred percent blaming that on urban arc overland I started reading this comment about actually getting a good stream going and then it cut out that freezes and then just goes back to the main menu of YouTube and then lets me click live and says oh do you want to resume i'm like well of course i do i was doing the live why'd you kick me out in the first place idiot hi mate do you prefer the cooler or warm weather the cooler weather is easier for living in a motorhome cold cold weather is easier to get warm 
Um, Darren, if you have it in, in or near Coventry, have a park on the water at Lecky if you need it. No name yet. Cheers, mate. Much appreciated. Always, always appreciated, that is. I'm going Coventry tomorrow. Oh, nice one. Come on, all hit the thumbs up. <laughs> nice one, cheers, mate. Oh, great. Okay. Don't know what it's all great to. Can you... Can you shout out hi to Kennedy as she loves your videos? Hi, Kennedy. <laughs> Hope that was all right. Yeah, Austin, hello, mate. How are you? Are you using that? No, no, I'm using my phone. I'm not even using the GoPro. The GoPro's here. Probably not recording audio. I'm using my phone. and It's just, I don't know. I can blame you. You you put the comment. I started reading the comment and then the thing froze. Your fault. Not that was not mine. Uh, evening, mate. Have you eaten that, that dog bowl today? <laughs> no, that's only for camping. That is a hundred percent just for camping. But it's great. It's absolutely great. You are right, superstar. No, no, no. I'm just off the A forty five now. Oh, that's nice. That's not uh not not too far. Not too hard to find. You know, that dog bowl, they, they're great. You can probably just drop them throw them around camp. Not that you really throw a plate around, to be fair. But <laughs> if you do drop them, they're, uh, they're fine. And, yeah, and like I say, they've got the, the edge. That's why I had my breakfast in, in that video. The last video i just done, I've got the edge. I've uh, got the, the, in the last video i just done, the, there's a dog bowl in there. But it's just a stainless steel bowl. But, it, yeah, it was kind of, you know, bought out the dog section, uh, the pet section. <laughs> Are you on your phone or laptop at the moment? I'm on my phone. I've always done live on my phone. I tried to do it on my Chromebook once, but it started saying no. So <laughs> I didn't bother. I haven't tried it on my laptop, to be fair. Maybe I'll do that next week. I'll try that on my on my laptop next week. Uh, Morgs plays. What, what's this? I don't know if you tell me. What is this? <laughs> but, yeah. It's a... Uh, what's that? It's great to see where and what you're doing when you're out in your motorhome. home. Big thumbs up. Cheers, Troy. That's what you need, a dog. Whip it. You have all the kit. <laughs> I, I really wouldn't mind a dog, but I can't. I, you know, with the job and all that, I can't take take the dog to work. I can't leave the dog in the van. But I'd love like a pug or a bulldog or a little staff or something. That'd be great. Not a pug, a Frenchie, a Frenchie, not a pug. Got it wrong. They're a bit too too small. Do you have a sight or something? No, no. Uh, afternoon, afternoon. Fair play, I can't do live on my phone. Unlocks at 1000. You'll be there soon, Spee, no worries. You'll be there soon. Ever thought about going abroad uh, in the van? Uh, there is um, plans in the pipeline for me and uh, a mate to go to France, south of France next year, uh, in February, February, March time. He's been to France many times in his uh, mobile home. Um, I've never been abroad in my home, so that is the plan to go over there. All pet food is tested on humans, though, so the bowl should be safe. Yeah, thank you very much, Junkie Cooper. There you go. Stick that. I'm I'm running with that. I'm running with that. Hi, Darren. How's the uh, how's things? Uh, hello from Ireland. Love your vids. Uh, looks like you're a hard man on your equipment. I'd say there are a couple of manufacturers out there that would... Yeah, well, uh, you know, you got to fry it around a bit, haven't you? Did you get your drone fixed? No, it's currently... Uh, I sent it off, what was it, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, to the Netherlands. So, it's on its way. Get a stuffed dog. No poo to pick, too. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely, definitely not a bad idea. Maybe I get a robotic dog. Uh, it's got the movement, but no poo. Uh, no, I'm not eating dog food. I'm not eating dog food. Your face is like a lobster. Tut, tut. Use suntan lotion. Yeah, I've got your comment, mate. I, uh, yeah, 
Well, it's a bit hot in here, to be fair. I've got the uh, window open. I've got the fan on. It's a bit warm in here. But, yeah, I got your uh, message, and it's definitely, uh, definitely thumbs up, mate, for that. Uh, hello from Harley Darren. You're my hero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That that's that's not a troll, is it, Amanda? <laughs> that's my mum actually watching. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think you made it, yeah. I made it when we, when my mum actually watched a live stream. Robotic dog, yeah, because you're you're mint with electronics. <laughs> oh, here we go. You would kill it, break it, or break a propeller. Hey, you know, I'd probably get Peter on me for that if I broke a robotic dog. They'd probably be right on me for that. But Peter, Peter, <laughs> you'd probably break. <laughs> Ask Mevy about living with a sheep. <laughs> that will keep me happy on them lonely nights. Mevy and them sheep, he didn't half look at them strange. He really does look at them sheep strange. Got a little, a little glint in his eye when he sees a sheep. <laughs> but when, when we were at uh, Edal. We were walking back from the pub and there was these the lambs in the field. Um <laughs> Dave, you're a funny one, you really are. <laughs> there was these lambs and they run up to their mum. Obviously they want milk. They proper attack the mum. They proper attack the teats. That was vicious. Weather doesn't look too good for the coming days. Yellow yellow warning for rain. Nah. That's alright. <laughs> Come in, Amanda. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you lot. <laughs> You're a funny bunch, you lot. <sighs> no, but them sheep, they were pretty vicious. Well, them lambs, shall I say. They were attacking the sheep. The mother sheep. That was pretty... Uh... <laughs> they was Mevy's children. <laughs> I don't know why. He proper loves a sheep. He just looks at it in amazement. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's making bar noises now. <laughs> and bar comments. Is maybe still being sponsored by the RAC or is that? Ooh, that is, that is a cheap one. That was a, that was a shot. Chunky Cooper, that was a shot. That was right between the eyes. Is maybe still being sponsored by the RAC or is his van, <laughs> or is his van fixed? Ouch. Oh, no, I hope his van's, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm, I haven't heard anything from him. I hope his van's uh, back on the road. That's, that sucks it being off the road. Uh, so what bushcraft skills did you learn at the weekend? Um, I learned that I should have put the lamb on the fire to cook. But I didn't. So then we had to take a bushcraft walk to the chip shop and eat fish and chips. <laughs> Don't ask about Mevy's van. No, it's not not fun, man. It's a bad situation, but I know at the weekend. I hope he I hope he gets it sorted soon, no matter what, because it's it's causing umpteen problems, so many problems. It really has, and I can only imagine when when that happens. You just like no, you learn not to put your drone on the table. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it fell onto soft long blade grass you know so it weren't exactly landing on hard concrete if you broke the robotic dog you would have the rspca after you robotic silence pet cruelty association <laughs> that took you off. <laughs> that took you a few i know you've been thinking about that one didn't you? robotic science pet cruelty association nice one At the at the weekend, you learnt how to pick up <laughs> in the beer garden. Yeah, I learnt about f was it fledgling, fledgling. There was a bird that fell out that had been pushed out the nest. Any new gadgets lately, Darren? Um, don't think I've got any new gadgets lately. No. 
Don't think so. Uh, hey there, I watch your vlogs all the time. Uh, all the time you post them. Thanks, mate. Majestic mixture witty. Fledged, that's it. Fledged. Which basically means you've been ejected from the nest to get out. <laughs> and then it was in a flat in a flower bed squealing his head off wanting food didn't look happy did it and then it saw mevy coming at it <laughs> and and the womble the womble come wandering over a drone should have survived to be that to be fair crash mine into a tree on uh easter yeah you see that's what i said many people have crashed and this i said walked away but obviously flown again um, mine landed on a little Ikea table, which is about two and a half foot tall, maybe three foot tall, which was in the field, just, you know, so I had somewhere to land and take off, take off and land. I landed on it just on the edge, and then as it turned off, it just fell off the side, because it slid a little bit, and then that was it. That bird was on the menu the next day. <laughs> I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Saw the video. Mevy and the boondocker will get sorted. Yeah, that's good. It's good to hear. I've pushed many a bird out the nest down. <laughs> Afternoon, Julie. How are you? Yeah, no, that, that drone. I'm hoping it's just a manufacturer's... Yeah, you did. Who is George Virgo? Did I say George? Do you know, I watched my video when I edited it probably about 15 times, going over and over and over doing the edit. Did I say George? Oh, no. I'm going to be banished from YouTube for that, for offending YouTube royalty. Sorry, Greg. Public apology being issued right now. I am very sorry. I, I don't know if I said that. I'm going to have to go watch. Uh, I think your mum gives gives a thumb down to this video. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm not bothered. Um, oh, I'm going to have to go back through the video again now and watch to see where I said George. <laughs> I'll put it in the description. I'll put a, a written apology. How far do you drive every night for work? Uh, when I'm usually around work, I stay about mm, about five miles from work, maximum five miles from work. <laughs> Dave, you you wish, <laughs> you wish. Your mum's just emailed me some funny stories about you, some interesting stories. Steve, hi Darren, I've seen a few of your vids from over the winter. Did you did get a motorhome similar to yours, but a major damp problem in the roof? Not good. No, damp is not. Damp is not funny at all. That can be a very costly, very costly uh, problem to fix. Depends how far it's spread. Uh, so even with my mine, I've changed. I, I still get the... I still get the uh, hab checks every year. Well, I don't do mine every year. Um, I do them every 18 months now. I'm going to do them every 18 months. I did one the first year, and then I'm going to spread it to every 18 months. Because I'm only living in full-time, and I'm travelling in full-time. I will know if there's a, a leak problem. But yeah, even still, I'm in it and using it a lot. I'm still going to get a hab check every you know, f um, 15 to 18 months. Uh, oh, when I drive for work... Oh, when you drive for work, that could be um, anything. It's not long distance. It could be anything up to uh, three, four hundred kilometers. That's the probably the furthest we go, like round trip. So it's not. Uh, but the motorhome is easy to drive after an HUV. Yeah, yes, it's tiny. Um, it's spread over the toilet and wardrobe and down the back of the wardrobe. So I had to get rid the roof that is there was that one time at Darren was a little boy and <laughs> oh Glenn thanks mate appreciate that uh, what is this I think we've got a trial 
who are you? I don't know how to actually get rid of anyone. Yeah, Dave's bit, Dave's right funny today. He's he's loving it. He's loving it. Mm -hmm. Right, I think. We, yep. Bye. <laughs> Gotta get rid of him. Right. Did you? Did I what? Do you get lonely on your own, Darren? No. No. It's one thing I, I know a few people do suffer from that, and I do get some messages about that fair and uh, from time to time, about being alone in the... Yeah, I do get some questions about being lonely, and some people are lonely in that. Um, and what can they do about being lonely when they live in a, uh, a, a van or a motorhome or travelling constantly? Um, I find it quite hard to uh to know what to say to that because I don't really find myself I don't find myself getting lonely. So I just say, you know, you know, find a hobby and try and reach out to people or go for you know, or reach out to people online in communities like this, uh for Facebook groups and forums and then start interacting, you know, go to a few meets or something like that. Um other than that, I don't really know what to say because I don't experience it myself, which is then hard for me to, to you know, offer advice. Um, I don't want to try and offer advice as though I know what I'm talking about when, you know, it's not me what's going through it and I don't know, you know. Uh, don't they say gas heaters are a problem for damp uh, gas being around 70% water? Yeah, but you're always venting, so you, if you didn't vent, then you would not have any new air coming in, so then you would, in theory, suffocate yourself if you didn't. So you just vent, and it'll be fine. Most of the caravans and motorhomes are built in Hull, and I know a lot of people that work there uh, that way. Us young, sensible wheels have camper vans. <laughs> Did you just say young, sensible people? I don't know about that, Dave. I don't know about that. That's stretching the truth, isn't it? Stretching the truth. You never get lonely if you have an inflatable friend. <laughs> have you thought about collecting rainwater? I actually had the harebrained idea to collect rainwater. Um, but do you know what? I know people are going to think of and probably disagree with me instantaneously. But actually doesn't rain that much in this country to get enough water off the roof yes young and i have a very long babe around <laughs> i was gonna get it all to come off the roof and then in punching down the wall and straight into the tank uh go through some waters and then into the tank and then fill up from there so there'll be a couple of channels on the roof a collection point on the roof straighten down the tube into the tank but <laughs> i live in wales it rains here permanently i think that'd make good sense for you yeah but you've got to make sure you filter it well if you're going to use it for any type of consumption um or you just use it for cooking uh for washing um for washing up the plates and showers um perhaps you're happy on your own with your own company and when you need to be with people you go online and chat with us or go to meets, nothing wrong with that. No, Julie, that's 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 fine. That's and that's what I um that's what I say to people, you know, try and uh you know, find a little community, find people that do your hobby and uh mix in with them. Where do you empty your loo? Um public toilets, friends' houses, um uh, other campsites. There's plenty of places. Plenty of places. You can even get inflatable sheep nowadays. I could get an inflatable whippet. I'm being told, Dave, do you reckon that'd be any good? An inflatable whippet. What would Louie think of an inflatable whippet? Would Louie get jealous? <laughs> it would be good if you had a, a rain catchment system. Do you know what? It must be my phone or an, a conflicting amp app. On my phone that kicks me out because I can watch YouTube for hours, I can stream TV for hours, so it's not my internet connection in the slightest. 
Um, I buy a bottle of water to drink, but I have a filter. You go to travel, you're going to travel to Wales or Scotland it would make a nice couple of videos. Yeah, I've seen some videos of, of um, Scotland and that is epic up there. That's like another world. I would like to take a big trip up there and just slowly um, work my way around. That'd be pretty cool. Um, and Wales, Wales is nice as well. I, I don't really go. F I haven't really gone far into uh, Hi Laura. How are you? Enjoyed the video this morning. Uh, the little ones enjoyed it. Are you on YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> um, but I go to Camp Shaky at Christmas. And that's in the Forest of Dean. So I, and I do drive through Wales a bit. Um, and that's quite nice. I might try and stay down there a couple of days longer this year. How about a fire brigade key thing for accessing the manholes? Uh, yeah, you can get them. Yep. Time it between kickouts, mate. It's the same. It'll be a set in some way. Yeah. I'm going to have to have a look in the settings. I'm going to have to do a little search. I will have to Google it and find out because it just kicks me out. And he said, I don't know, it's not a pleasant experience. Hello, Fat Trucker. How are you, mate? Uh, it's, uh, but yeah, Wales and Scotland look, look absolutely beautiful. I wouldn't mind uh, travelling to what, uh, uh, Scotland, but I know in the summer they have quite a, a Problem with mosquitoes up there, and all the is it midges? I suppose they're the same. Um, so, no, oh yes, thanks for doing that. Yeah, that's cool. No worries. <laughs> Hello, Speed. His name is Darren. <laughs> Uh, a bloke I worked with went to Scotland and did the Route 500 and took him eight weeks. Stopped off and had fresh water from the locks. He loved it. Yeah, I know a few people that have filled up from them places. Um, they fill up from the, the springs and oh, and drink out the springs and all that. Um, that's called the far. Is it the NC? Is it the NC 500 or something? All good, pal. Still uh, moping since Edel. Uh, quick hi from Scotland. Tons of midges here today. Oh, that's not good. That just ruins the beauty of it, doesn't it? I know you're Wally. Darren, why are you near Coventry soon? Um, I'm not. Just if uh, I'm if I'm ever passing, then I'll uh, that be. I don't think I'm near Coventry anytime soon. I'm going down near Stonehenge in um, uh, August for a wilderness gathering. If you swing by Thanet, Kent, you can fill up and empty out no empty out no round mine problem. Round mine no problem. Thank you very much, Scott. Much appreciated. Yeah, there you go. You got you got to do the NC five hundred down. Yeah, that's it. I'm off to take the whip it out. See you on the next one. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Enjoy one if you would like to see a proper camera van. Then go to one man and his whip it. Shameless plug, Dave. Shameless plug. But I'll let you have that one. As I do abuse you about that stupid little camera you got. That no one would ever give money for. Take it easy, mate. Have a good one. The scenery up the west coast will blow you away. Yeah, I've definitely got to have a drone for that. I'll probably need two, because I'll probably break one. Um, <laughs> if I'm messing with some big big cliffs and mountains and I can barely get my drone on the table, what is it going to do up there? It's going to definitely break. Um, yeah, no, I've seen, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos, and it does look amazing. Amazing scenery. I don't know, videos would be an hour long each, though, wouldn't they? Although I don't think your rig will manage Apple Cross due to the length. And so, yes, I've, I think someone said, see you later, Dave, have a good one, mate. Um, I think someone said about Apple Apple Cross when we was at, I think when we was at Rich's, uh, the Bug Out meet, the Bug Out UK meet, um, 
said it, there's maybe the signs. I think the signs don't go up that bit. It's not. Motorhomes need to use this route or. Um, yeah. The videos don't do it justice. And yeah, fair play to that one. Definitely. How do you find out about all these camping weekenders? Uh, it's, once you're plugged into the community, it goes around quite quick. There's, you know. Once you get plugged into one and you turn up to one meet, then you'll start talking to other people, and they'll be like, oh, yeah, you going to this, I'm going to this next weekend, or, oh, I do this this meet, this meet, this meet, every every year. Um, and that's how you, the word kind of spreads. But there are a few groups, I think, a um, few people, YouTubers do say they're going to be, uh, where they're going to be, uh, you know, if they're going to a meet. Like I just said, I'm going to eat a uh, wilderness gathering in August, and then I'm going to, I will be going to Camp Shaky in December for the meet up down there. And it's, a, a few of these meets aren't van life related. I feel like Wilderness Gathering, in the, it's in the name. It's, it's nothing to do with van life. It's Wilderness Gathering. It's old, old time skills and foraging and shows you all the, how to make a fishing net out of, you know, um, you know, roots and leaves and things like that. No, not leaves, but you get what I'm saying. It's nothing to do with van life. That's a different section. And then uh, Camp Shaky again. It's nothing to do with van life. It's it's more about bushcraft and and prepping and things like that. So, but I go in my motorhome, and now a few people are starting to go in motorhomes and campers, and they're doing um, they're doing things in their converted vans so to go out more camping and that because people are getting older they they don't want to be camping anymore so is there a better app than park for night for motorhomes over 20 feet long mm, not that i know of no not that i know of uh enjoy watching your vids mate looking for my own motorhome now uh, from Chevron, brilliant mate. If you thought the winds at Edel were something else, <laughs> just wait till you get to Shaky. Yeah, no, I'll be, I'll be up uh, to Camp Shaky. I was there. I was there when the snow hit a couple of years back, and then I was there. I, I got stuck for three for two days there when the when the uh, snow hit because <laughs> my motorhome just did not want to move. I had to wait until the uh, JCB would uh, would pull me out. Because the Land Rovers couldn't pull me out, I was pulling it sideways. I was wondering how you stop your water freezing in the winter. Mine froze solid last year for a week. I'm going to invest in a heat pad for my fresh water tank. Yeah, I'm, I was thinking about getting a heat pad for the um, water tank. But it depends where your water tank is. If your water tank, and if you're full time, obviously it depends on the part of the country that you're in as well. You Like you said, you, you're in Wales and it might get colder there in some of the little microclimates um, but if your water tanks within the confines of the motorhome like under the seats then it's still quite warm it's below it's not below freezing in in the actual motorhome so and if you're using the motorhome on the full time it won't drop I mean last year the only problem I had was I kept running the taps just to make sure the lines weren't freezing and then the only line that did freeze was the waste wall, the, the waste pipe from the t from the actual sink to to the pipe uh, to the tank. So then I had a sink of, of water for a, uh, a day. Um, but I just leave the heating on while I'm at work. I just leave the heating on low just to keep it, or or I have it on really high for a, an hour before I start working, and I it will you you know it's not we don't get them that cold um uh, jason has a drone uh it's currently in the netherlands being hopefully being delivered there and being looked upon and hopefully being fixed and returned mine is underneath the van yeah heat pad would then be good because it'll keep it to like two degrees um <laughs> your van struggles with damp grass so i can imagine what it's like on the snow oh, mate damp grass it looks at damp grass and just goes Ooh, and falls falls over and says no i'm not going anywhere 
It seriously does. I don't know. It's just got a fat ass. It doesn't want to move anywhere. So yeah, with the snow, I was stuck fast. <laughs> Has anyone made a meme of your drone flying skills yet? Don't give them ideas. Just watched your other video, mate. It was good. You're getting a lot better at filming now. Shame about your drone, bud. Yeah, it's not good. How long does your fresh water last you, Darren? Um, I usually fill up every seven to ten days, maybe ten days. So, yeah. So, I don't take long, luxurious 20-minute showers. Um, so, yeah, about a week, usually. But if I needed more, then I'll just go fill up. <laughs> I've got plenty of places to fill up, and I'll just go... Get the hose by pass. <laughs> Screw it in, that's it. Fill her up. You know? Um, and at the moment, I'm retesting my miles per gallon. But normally, I um, I don't fill up a full tank. So, like, I'll fill up half a tank. So, I have half a tank. Because it, it lasts me a while. and I'm not Unless I'm going somewhere long. I'll fill up half a tank. So, then I've got another half to fill... If I really need to uh, go to like a shell or something, I can go chuck 50 quid in, which I would use anyway. Um, and then I can use their taps. I've got a reason to use the taps. Uh, white van man, don't want to sound like a moaning troll, but after six minutes of video, uh, vid, uh, I've given up. It's playing in another tab on the telly, but the sound is pants, mate. Sorry for such a shame. Mate, the wind... I fully agree with you. The power, the I, I actually apologise at the end of it for such poor audio, and I apologised a few times for it, and I made a joke that the little mic really wasn't um, thingy, but it's uh, not. I had an external mic with a wind muff on. Not anything more I could do with that. Nothing. I was advised by a full timer to get a four wheel drive camper. Ignored it, and been pulled. Up by some Welsh back roads a few times. Yeah, if I could, if this could be four by four, uh, four wheel drive, that'd be great. Um, but it's still a big old lump to pull, and it's got the overhang. The overhang, uh, com you know, the weight isn't all on the wheels so much because it's got the overhang. But yeah, no, about the uh, sound, the wind. I mean, everyone tents blew, blew uh, had to get restrapped down. People's awnings were. Blowing left, right, and centre. I had to put my awning away at four in the morning because it was, and I strapped it down with the storm straps, the pegs in the legs, and I tied it to the wheel of either of the vans next to me, and it was still blowing a good one. So, and I, I weren't going to risk that, so I cut it, cut it loose, and wrapped it up. Do you ever damp test, damp test your motorhome? Yeah, I get, I put it in for a motorhome uh, habitation check last year. Um, when I had the MOT and all that done, the service done, and it's um, you get get that checked. But now I think I'm going to move it because I'm in it full time. I don't think I'm going to have it every year. It's just you know not needed. So because I will see something, I will notice something because I'm using it full time. But I'm I'm still going to get it done every fifteen to eighteen months, just to make sure. Um, Everyone suffered with the wind at Edow. I haven't seen any video from this year that didn't didn't have bad audio. Yeah, cheers, mate. It is, it's uh, really not not a good one with the audio. There's only so much a wind muff can do for the uh, mics, unless you're just going to do a a montage and just put music over the top. You're not going to have any speaking. But yeah, with the with the um, habitation checks, I, I I would recommend still doing it even if you're not gonna even if you're gonna live in it full time or something i would still still check it every every 15 months that's what i'm gonna do anyway bad sound doesn't last long still worth watching thanks lay um what sort of money do motorhomes like yours go for mine was about 18 grand um, my sprinter conversion should be done soon so i hope i can get to meet you and others on meetups Nice one, Michael. Brilliant, can't wait. Um, at least watch it for the dog bowl segment and chat with the lads about the hoovering. 
Yeah, that was a manly chat, I'll tell you. That was a manly chat. You didn't get your joint of lamb out in the end, then, Darren. No, that's I've actually because I'm I'm visiting family at the moment. I'm visiting my mum and my brothers. Um, I got I put it in my freezer in the end. It took my whole freezer basically. This lamb, leg of lamb, and I've now put it in her freezer. <laughs> Cause I'm not, yeah, I, I'm uh, I'm not I'm not gonna cook a whole leg of lamb just for myself. Um, <laughs> but I will use it. It will get used. And I will cook a leg of lamb at at wilderness gathering. I I will do that. I promise them that. Probably a stupid question, but how much would medium off road tyres affect the MPG? I don't know. My tyres I've usually stayed between uh, is it a B B C maybe maximum an E, but I think mine have C a B or a C to be fair in the in the fuel efficiency. So. I'm retesting my, um, <laughs> funny you should say that, there's not a lot of our lassies, <laughs> Windy Mum does, <laughs> mate, you're a funny one, uh, Van Life with Betty Boondocker, hello, uh, <laughs> gonna enjoy that free lamb, cheers, that's, yeah, it's now sitting in her freezer, I will watch it later, cheers mate. Appreciate it. Um, if I could fix the audio, uh, I tried to actually mess with the audio levels, but it just weren't having it. It really wasn't. Nothing I done. I could drop it right down, but then you wouldn't be able to hear it, and then you'd have to turn the sound right up, and then you'd still get it. So it's catch twenty two. So we'll uh, there'll be better audio on that in, on the next videos. So yeah, that leg of lamb. I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to do a leg of lamb or, or something at the wilderness gathering to uh, redeem myself. So. But I, uh, 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 right, I think I'm gonna leave it there, guys, and I'm gonna go chill out with, with the family and get some food and uh, enjoy the rest of my weekend. So I hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekend and take it easy, and I'll catch you again soon. Thanks for watching all the videos, guys, and uh, make sure you leave some comments, and I'll catch you again soon. <laughs> Take oh uh, we missed the live then yeah yeah you missed it sorry bye everyone take it easy guys oh you know would you mind for allies no I don't think it would benefit from chunky tires because it's just too it's too too heavy it, and it's just uh, I might try that later on in time but you know but for now I'm off take it easy guys bye.